Hi, I'm Rahul and in this tutorial we will learn how to make a stacked area graph that the different variables or variable uh, features will be stacked one over one above another. To use that we will use the geo underscore area function again and map a factor variable to fill to make the color fill and to do that we need a data set and for this uh, we need a one package that is called the gcookbook package and it, that package contains large number of data set with which you can uh, learn different types of uh, plotting or different types of which uh, you can apply for different types of learning so to install that package use the install.packages function and inside the parenthesis with quotation give gcookbook and after that give the library in library inside the library when it when it get installed with install.packages after that to import that library use the library function and inside the parenthesis gives gcookbook so inside that there is a uh, data set called the us population age uh, over different year so it is known as us pop age us pop age is a database which contains age distribution of population in the united states such as from 1900 to 2002 so to see the data set use the use pop edge and press control enter and you will see that it contains three variables one is year another is age group another is thousands population in thousands year age group and thousands that number of population in thousands so if you want to see the structure use the str function and inside the parenthesis give the data set name us pop edge and press control enter it will show you that data frame uh, contains three variables one is year that is integer or continuous variable another is a group age group that is factor with eight levels and another is thousand that is also integer uh, or a continuous variable so to plot a stacked area graph use the ggplot function and inside the parenthesis give data equal to us pop edge and with comma give the mapping equal to aesthetic aes and inside the parenthesis give first x equal to year in x axis year y axis y equal to thousands and comma the fill equal to age group okay so fill we are giving the age group category or categorical variable and with plus sign give the geo underscore area that it will plot a area graph okay and now press control enter you can see the plot here is the plot here you can see that in y axis how the population in thousands and in x axis the year and the age group that eight type of age groups from less than 5 to up to greater than 64 so to sometimes we want to reverse the legend like this legend we want to reverse and if you want to change the fill colors to blue you can also do that and you want to add a thin line between each layers with a size of 0.2 between each area and make color semi transparent using alpha 0.4 that is which we want to make it transparent 60% to do that use the ggplot function and use data is equal to us pop edge with comma mapping is equal to aesthetic inside that x equal to year y equal to thousands and fill equal to age underscore age group that is the categorical age group plus use the geom underscore area inside that give color equal to black it will provide a black outline with comma give the size is equal to 0.2 so the size would be of that line 0.2 and alpha that is transparency of that color 0.4 that is 60 percent transparent plus use the scale underscore fill underscore brewer to add a existing palette so inside that give the palette equal to blues i want to use the blues palette and with comma use the breaks breaks argument and equal to give reverse rev that will reverse the legend what do you want to reverse us pop edge dollar under us pop is data set with dollar select the edge group that edge group we, we want to reverse in re, we want in reverse order so if you press control enter now you can see that the color is changed to uh, that blue palettes and it is transparent around 60 percent 60 percent transparent and there is a black outline and the uh, legend is now in reverse order the greater than 64 at the top and less than 5 at the bottom if you want to reverse the stack also like this portion should be at top and this portion should be uh, the transparent portion should be at bottom you can also do that to do that use the position is equal to position underscore stack 
and inside that has a reverse equal to true inside the geom underscore area function so use the ggplot function give the data is us pop page and inside ma mapping equal to aes aesthetic give the x equal to year y is equal to thousands fill equal to age group and with plus give geom underscore area where inside that give color equal to black that will provide the outline for each area give the size is 0.2 alpha is 0.4 position here give the position is equal to position underscore stack but inside that function give reverse equal to true so the stack would be reversed plus again as you give scale underscore fill underscore brewer palette equal to blues if you now press control enter then you can see that it is reversed that the transparent portion now in bottom and the dark portion at top and now we haven't changed the legend so the legend is in same order earlier uh, the less than 5 at top and greater than 64 uh, at bottom if you want to change or reverse the legend order using breaks and also reverse the stacking order using the position underscore stack reverse equal to true you can do both together and to do that use the ggplot did inside that ggplot function give the data us poppage with comma mapping equal to aesthetic x equal to year y is equal to thousands fill equal to age group and with plus sign give the geom underscore area inside that color equal to black that is outline with size 0.2 alpha 0.4 position is equal to position underscore stack that you want to uh, provide the stacking order in reverse so inside that give the reverse equal to true plus use the same scale underscore fill underscore brewer under that give the palette equal to the blues and with comma breaks equal to reverse us poppage dollar age group like earlier we have as a given okay so it will reverse the stacking order along with uh, the legend order if you press control enter then you will get now the stack is reversed along with the uh, legend is also reversed you can also do it in different way like reversing the legend order using fill guides equal to, using the guide fun guide function okay inside the guide function you can give the fill equal to guide underscore legend reverse equal to true up to that that point it would be same like position equal to position underscore stack reverse equal to true for reversing the stack stacking order and again you can give the scale underscore fill underscore viewer palette equal to blues plus use the guides function inside that give fill equal to guide underscore legend and reverse equal to true inside that function so it will reverse the legend order it will provide the same as earlier that uh, the legend is reversed along with stacking order is reversed since each fill area is drawn with a polygon you, you can see that it every covered area uh, like one two three four five six seven eight is a polygon it is covered in both all the sides so if you want to get rid of it just use the inside the geom underscore area use the color where we are giving the black outline provide it na that is not available and after that use a geom underscore line for providing a oh, separating line okay to do that use the ggplot function give the data equal to us pop edge, uh, with comma mapping equal to aesthetic x is equal to year y is equal to thousand fill equal to age group plus geom under, under geom underscore area give color equal to na that we don't want to provide outline with comma give alpha equal to 0.4 and with plus again give the scale underscore fill underscore brewer okay and inside that give such a palette equal to blue plus geom underscore line inside that gives position underscore equal to stack that we are providing the information to the geom underscore line that the line geometry will be stacked and with comma size is equal to 0.2 if you press control enter now you can see that the polygon is not available right now it is now free in both side so sometimes uh, we want to make a proportional stacked area graph that is such a represent a hundred percent area or, or stacking area to do that i'm using the library ggplot2 uh, uh, sorry uh, library dpl wire to do that for i'm saving that data inside us pop edge underscore proportion underscore dpl wire okay and under that i am using the us pop edge the data set and with a uh, chaining operator 
I'm grouping it by year. So group underscore by use group underscore by function and year. It will group by each year. Like if you see the uh, uh, data set, like uh, uh, here is a data set. You can see that the data set from 1900 each year has different categories. So under each, if you group by each year and want to obtain something you can use the group by function here i am using the group by function to group it by each year so uh, inside that year variable and again with chaining operator i am using the muted function muted function used for creating a new column or new variable so i am creating a percentage column in which i am uh, computing the percentage equal to thousand divided by sum of thousand so the thousand such population i am dividing with sum of thousand that under each group or each year say in 1900 the total um, uh, the thousands populations divide by the total thousand hundred populations inside the 1900 in eight category of eight categories and multiplying it with 100 that is such i'm opting the proportion if you press control enter now you can see the us pop edge uh, pop proportion using dplyr so you can see that the proportions are available like percentage okay like year in 1900 1900 at different category then 1901 at different category and that is a thousand under the proportion inside each year category or each year group now I'm, i want to plot that data to do that use the ggplot function inside the data is equal to us pop edge pro underscore proportion underscore dplyr in which we have already saved the data after that mapping is equal to aesthetic x is equal to year y is equal to percentage in y we are giving the percentage and fill we are giving the age group okay plus j underscore area we are giving color equal to black that would be provide a black outline uh, inside that j underscore area give the color equal to black and size is equal to 0.2 or alpha is equal to 0.4 that is 60 percent transparent plus give the scale underscore fill underscore brewer that you want to use a certain palette so i'm using the palette equal to blues press control enter and it will it will show that now the stack area is in percentage and this is 100 percent and this is a proportionate touch of stack area is shown in y-axis and in x-axis it shows the year and here is the age group so thanks for watching